The world is home to a variety of spiders, some of which possess venom potent enough to be considered the deadliest. These spiders strike fear with their toxic bites, capable of causing severe harm or even death to humans. From the infamous Black Widow spider to the notorious Sydney funnel web spider, understanding these deadly arachnids is essential for staying safe in spider-rich regions. Join me as we delve into the captivating realm of the world's deadliest spiders. Number 5. With a size of 1.5 inches, 38.1 millimeters, meet the Black Widow spider. Black Widow spiders can be found across the United States parts of Canada, Latin America, and the West Indies. These spiders derive their name from the female's tendency to consume the male after mating. Typically, they have a black appearance with two reddish triangular markings, often joined together to form a distinctive reddish hourglass shape on the underside of their abdomen. Black widow spiders prefer dry and dimly lit environments to weave their webs, showing a preference for man-made structures like barns, outhouses, henhouses, sheds, meter boxes, brick veneer, barrels, and wood piles. Their diet primarily consists of flying and climbing insects that become entangled in their webs. Additionally, they have been known to capture and kill small vertebrates, including lizards and small snakes. The black widow spider's bite instills fear due to its venom, which is reported to be 15 times more potent than that of a rattlesnake. When bitten, humans may experience muscle aches, nausea, and diaphragm paralysis, resulting in difficulty breathing. However, Contrary to popular belief, most individuals who are bitten do not suffer serious harm or fatality. Fatalities are rare and typically associated with small children, the elderly, or individuals with compromised health. It is important to note that black widow spiders are non-aggressive and bite only in self-defense, such as when accidentally disturbed or sat upon. Number 4. An inch smaller than black widow spider. Here comes the brown widow spider with a size of 0.51 inches, 12.95 millimeters. Brown widow spiders, believed to have originated in Africa or South America, can be found worldwide. Unlike black widow spiders, they lack a shiny appearance and exhibit a wide range of colors, from very light to very dark. Their coloring is characterized by a model pattern, with females displaying black accent stripes. Typically, the abdomen of a brown widow spider features an hourglass shape usually in an orange shade. These spiders prefer to inhabit secluded areas with woody vegetation and branches just beyond urban regions. Dark places such as empty pots, garages, woodpiles, patio furniture, and abandoned cars are particularly appealing to them. Brown widow spiders feed on insects and anything they can catch in their webs. Although the bite of a brown widow spider is venomous, its effects are relatively minor compared to those of a black widow. The reduced impact of brown widow bites on humans may be attributed to their smaller venom glands or their inability to inject as much venom as their larger relatives. In some instances, Individuals bitten by brown widow spiders may not even realize it or mistake it for another type of bug bite. While there have been a few cases of brown widow spider bite victims requiring hospitalization, severe incidents are uncommon. Symptoms of severe cases may include muscle pain, cramps, weakness in the legs, fever, enlarged lymph nodes, nausea, and vomiting. Number 3. The female of this spider species is about 0.5 inches, 12.7 millimeters, while the male is one-third or half the size of the female. Slowly creeping towards you is the red widow spider. The red widow spider is native to specific habitats in central and southern Florida. Its distinguishing features include a reddish-orange head, thorax, and legs, accompanied by a black abdomen. The upper portion of the abdomen typically showcases a line of red spots bordered by yellow. Unlike some other spiders, the red widow lacks a complete hourglass shape on the underside of its abdomen and typically possesses one or two small red marks instead. This spider is predominantly found in sand pine scrub habitats, where it constructs its webs among palmettos, rosemary, scrub oak, and other shrubs. It is important to note that the red widow spider is venomous and can pose a threat to humans. The female's venom is a neurotoxin that results in prolonged muscle spasms, rather than causing localized tissue damage. Fortunately, the smaller male and immature individuals do not bite. Encounters with red widow spiders are rare, 
and they only bite when provoked or touched. Although very few bites have been reported, and no deaths have been attributed to the red widow spider, it is crucial to seek immediate medical attention if bitten. Contact your physician, hospital, or poison center promptly and adhere to their instructions. Number 2. Similar to the red widow spider where the female is larger with a usual body length of 0.4 inches, 10 millimeters, and the male is only 0.12 to 0.16 inches, 3 to 4 millimeters. Be wary of the notorious redback spider. The redback spider, also known as the Australian black widow, is a highly venomous species native to Australia. It is recognized as one of the most venomous spiders worldwide and shares this title with the Sydney funnel web spider. As Australia's most venomous spider, both male and female redback spiders typically display a brownish or black body coloration, with a distinct reddish-orange hourglass-shaped marking on the underside of the abdomen. Males often exhibit white markings on the upper side of the abdomen. These spiders are commonly found in sheds, garages, beneath houses, industrial areas, and even outside toilets. While insects constitute their typical prey, they are capable of capturing relatively large animals such as male trapdoor spiders, king crickets, and small lizards if they become ensnared in their webs. Redback spiders rarely bite humans, and when disturbed, their usual response is to attempt to escape or feign death by curling their legs and dropping to the ground. If a female redback spider bites a human, localized pain, swelling, and sweating may occur. Systemic symptoms can include nausea, vomiting, restlessness, and elevated blood pressure. In severe cases, respiratory failure may ensue. Administering antivenom can often prevent severe reactions. It is crucial to exercise utmost caution in treating redback spider bites as they have the potential to be fatal, particularly in young children. Number 1. This spider species have a body length ranging from 0.4 to 2 inches, 10.16 to 50.8 millimeters, make way for the Sydney funnel web spider. Sydney funnel web spider is a venomous spider species that is indigenous to eastern Australia. It belongs to a spider family in the Araneida order which is characterized by its funnel-shaped webs. These spiders are recognized for their glossy, hairless, and dark carapace, which can range in color from black to brown. They inhabit moist, cool, and sheltered environments such as under rocks, in and beneath decaying logs, crevices, and borer holes in rough bark trees. When potential prey, such as beetles, cockroaches, small lizards, or snails, traverse the silken trip lines placed by the spider around its burrow. The spider quickly emerges and captures the prey before retreating back into its burrow to consume it. The venom of the Sydney funnel web spider contains a neurotoxic component that affects the human nervous system, and in severe cases, can lead to fatality. The male of this species is considered one of Australia's most dangerous spiders and has been linked to all 13 recorded deaths, while capable of causing death in as little as 15 minutes. No fatalities have been reported since the development of antivenom in 1981. If you liked the video and found it informative, please subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and share it with others who might enjoy it. I appreciate you watching until the end and hope to see you again in my next video.